in Google Classroom. So after you have created your assignments in Google Classroom, you want to grade your specific assignments for your students, go to your respective class. You're going to click on the grades assignment. So Donald Duck has joined my class. This is the specific assignment that I have created and Donald Duck has. Now, if it was, it was a paper document, so the student had to turn it in, I graded it and then I can give Donald Duck his assigned points. So he received a nine out of 10 return sends this back to the student. Okay, this assignment isn't done yet. So what does that mean that this assignment isn't done yet? Are you sure you want to return it? So what ends up happening is Donald Duck actually has to press turn in. So let me show you what that looks like on his side. All right, so we're now in Donald Duck's um, Google Classroom. And he sees he has this assignment from me. I recommend students not to use the stream. I want students to use the classwork button. Uh, because it organizes all of your work so see a list of your work and its current status okay so you can do just homework topics because this is the stuff that is assigned for us or you can do all topics all topics are not showing because i don't have anything else in there right now but in my homework section donald duck has this homework assignment that he has to see let's see view instructions your teacher may choose not to accept your work after the due date so remember when we created the assignment uh, we allowed it for students not to turn in after the due date and the due date is right up here so add your okay due date is right up here uh, how i had students turn in paperwork i would have students to uh, add a picture so they would take a picture of their assignment a basically it would be a file so they can use this on your phone on a phone or a tablet it was very easy to take a picture of your assignments and upload on a computer or a chromebook it's a little bit more difficult but you can also figure that out all right, so here's the assignment. And once they are done, the student has to mark the assignment as done. All right, so we don't attach anything, which is okay. We're gonna mark as done. So now that it has been marked as done, let's go back to the teacher account and see what it looks like over here. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so you see how it says turned in. So that means this student, Donald Duck, has turned in this assignment. I'm going to give Donald Duck his grade, and now I want to return the assignment. If, once you press return, you can give uh, some feedback. Great job. Next time, don't forget to carry the integer. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to give uh, Donald Duck his form, and he's going to get his grade back. So now on this specific assignment, Let's go back to math. Donald Duck has received a nine out of 10 and it shows him all of his work and all of his information. So there we go. We have this specific assignment. We have Donald Duck. We have one graded assignment. Uh, if you have multiple students, which you should, you'll have students, when it says assigned, that means the student has not pressed marked uh, turned in yet or marked turned in. Turned in is students who have turned in and then the amount of students that you have graded uh, for that specific assignment okay so now let's see and see what it looks like for the student version so here we go let's refresh the page okay and there we go it says that the student received a notification from me great job next time don't forget to carry the integer got it good they can also res uh, respond back thanks for the feedback Send that back so that is the homework assignment the student can now also view let's go back to the class and we're going to want to go to uh, classwork so notice that now it is grayed out for the students that means that they completed it uh, he can find or the student can find their their information here um, and anything else to-do list there's no to-do list for the students any missing assignments uh, and done assignments basically it tells them their grades this is the student version of this okay so we created assignment we graded the students assignment uh, let's move on to the next topic